Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Aspen Ovard VIA unboxing. It is bi-monthly, so every two months. Um, I don't remember how much it is exactly, but I will link to it in the description box. It's not too bad. I'm going to be getting this Aspen Ovard box for at least a few months, uh, and then I will decide if I want to continue. Okay, so the inside of the box looks like this. Okay, so the first thing I see are all of these cute little straws. This is a DIY party themed box. I have five, six of them. This color is one of my favorites, this like light turquoisey color. The prints are really cute. It's weird that I have four of the chevron print and two polka dots, but that doesn't really matter if they're going to be used anyways. They feel just like cardboard, so I wouldn't say these are reusable. Next thing I see is a shirt. This looks really big. They did ask for sizes and stuff when you ordered. And also my tag is cut off. That is really weird. I don't know if you can see, but like there was a tag there and somebody chopped it off with scissors. Okay, well, this does look really big. But even if it is too big, I can wear it like as pajamas or something. It just says wild and free. I really like the fonts that are on the shirt. And even having a loose fitting tank top like this might be nice in the summertime when it gets really hot. But I'm kind of disappointed that they asked for our sizes and then I get this giant shirt. Um, I feel like if you're going to be putting clothing in your box and you are going to ask for sizes, you should make sure you have enough stock for each size. Like, I would be a small, and this looks like maybe a large, so she ran out of small shirts and just threw, well, whoever actually put the items in the box just put a random size in there. Kind of disappointed with that. Like I said, the tag was cut off which I find a little strange, but the next thing I see in here is the string. With this, I would make my own bunting or hang decorations for a party. The only parties I really throw at my own house are like my son's birthday parties. If me and my friends are going to get together, we all lead really busy lives, so it's easiest for us to just get together in the evening and go for sushi or go for a drink after work, something like that. So even though I really like the idea of having a DIY party box, it might be for somebody a bit younger than I am, but I'm sure I'll find a use for this. Next is a little baby benefit roller lash. I'm not going to open this up right now because I have the full size version that I have open and I'm actually wearing it today and oh the packaging is so cute on this. The lid is like a metallic rose gold. It's not the same rubberized cap as the full size but it's nice that she has some beauty products in here as well. Next is a bun pin by Kitsch. What it looks like here. Oh, this is adorable. How cute would that look? Super high top knot. That looks awesome. I can't wait to try this out. Next thing is a Pixie by Petra Wide Awake Crayon Combo. It says, This is my quick fix eye surround pen. I apply to any areas that need brightening. Suddenly, I look much more awake. This rescue pen awakens eyes with high performance treatment and soft focus color. Apply brighten end under eye and on lower waterline and use lighten end on brow bone and inner corner of eye. Oh, I see. So the brighten side is a little bit more peachy and the lighten side is a little bit more champagne. Well, they're not really that creamy. They're actually kind of stiff. 
These are wooden pencils, so they are going to have to be sharpened, and they are very big around. So I hope I have a sharpener that will fit over that, but there is a swatch of those two there. They are very nice. They blend out mm, reasonably well. I'm going to have to play with those because they feel a little stiff to me. I don't really know how I'm going to feel about those. This box has so much stuff in it. The next thing is a midi ring set. I have very small fingers, so a lot of these aren't midi rings for me at all. So that's how all of those look. All five of these came in that little bag. These are really cute. Like I said, my fingers are really small, so like a lot of these just fit as normal rings would. Uh, I could even like push those down further if I wanted to. This one won't. But they're really cute. I do love midi rings. I especially love this one here. The way it fits over my knuckle, I actually really like that, even though it may not be how it's supposed to fit. It might be supposed to fit up here, but yeah, I really like these. I should also mention that this is the very first box she has done. These ship on the last day of the month every two months, so this shipped out April 30th. Next is a candle. Oh, this is so cute. It is a mixture hand poured soy candle and the scent is white freesia and pear. Oh my god, this smells like... It definitely smells floral, but I can smell a little hint of the fruitiness from the pear. It just smells like summer. Next thing in here is an infinity charm. I guess I could put this just on a really thin chain. That could be cute. Oh my god, this is the never-ending box. Next is the Yum Earth Naturals Sour Beans. The Jelly Bean with Attitude. All natural and delicious. Oh, what the heck. Let's try it. I have been eating super clean lately. Hardly any junk. Quinoa for breakfast. And now I'm going to be eating jelly beans. I can't even get this open. Where'd my scissors? Oh my god, these smell like... You know the sour watermelon candies as a kid? That's what these smell like. Do they have different flavors? Not that it says. It says, there's a quote on the back, the best lollipop I've ever tasted. When you put, first put those in your mouth, you're like, oh no, these aren't sour at all. And then you bite it. Oh, those are really good. I'm probably going to eat that whole bag today. Next I see is say hello to longer legs. Three quarter of an inch invisible heels. Oh, so you can put these in any shoes they have. On the back it shows boots and sneakers to put those in. I guess you wouldn't really want to put them in flats or anything because your heel would pop out of the back. They look really strange. I will try these because I am quite short. I'm only 5'4". So sometimes it might be nice to pretend like I'm a little bit taller. Memory foam cushing, one size fits all. The one thing I am concerned about is that won't these slip around? Because there's no grips on the bottom. So when you put these in your shoe and you like slide your foot in, is it going to slip around and be a pain to like adjust it every time? I don't know. I'll see how these work. Next is a Makeup Geek Duo Chrome Eyeshadow Pan. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I have nine of them currently. None of them are the Duo Chrome ones though. And this is in the shade Mai Tai. Oh, that's cool. 
It looks like a peachy shade and then in some lights it's like bright pink. Yeah, this is like peach and pink or like orangey and pink. Can you see it there? That's super pretty. I don't really wear pinks on my eye, but I don't know, this shade just reminds me of like a summer cocktail or I don't know, it's a shade that is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. There's a lot of little things in the bottom. Oh, she does have a like list of everything that is in the box. It doesn't have prices or anything on it though, but that is nice. We have a Walida Skin Food Certified Natural Skin Care. Skin food for dry and rough skin, formulated with plant extracts traditionally used to soothe the skin. Oh, and as a side note, that wild and free tank uh, was a shirt that Aspen designed herself. Next, I have the NCLA Designer Nail Wraps. Oh, it says right on them, NCLA and Aspen Ovart, so this must be like a special design for with her. Instant Nail Fashion, there's 26. That's really cool. I haven't ever tried nail wraps before. I might have mentioned this before on my channel, but I can't have my nails painted where I work. Um, so I'm only going to use these when I have, you know, quite a few days off because I don't want to waste them. Like nail polish is just kind of like super easy to put on and take off. But these are cute little roses pattern. Just a stock card, I guess. A party playlist. So she has all her favorite songs at the moment on there. Creamy cauliflower Alfredo sauce. So she has a little recipe card in here. If you watch uh, the Aspen and Parker channel, their vlog channel, she made this quite a few times in their vlogs. I was really surprised how good it was. It is a vegan um, like alternative to traditional Alfredo sauce, so I will try that. DIY bunting. Okay, and the last thing in this box are these Kitsch Temporary Tattoos. Plus these are temporary metallic tattoos. I've never tried any of these. When I see them, I'm really reminded of music festivals like Coachella. Uh, you always see people wearing them at places like that, but I like the little like quotes that are at the top. Okay, so that was a lot of stuff that came in this box. It wasn't really that expensive. I think it was around the $50 mark, $50 or $60 for the VIA box, which is what I got. It has a few like extra little things than just a regular box. But for like around $50 and all of the stuff you get, and it's only every second month, I feel like it is worth it. I will try and find prices of some of these products and leave them down below so we can get an idea of the overall value of the box versus how much you pay for it. Similar to what I do with Ipsy, I, in my Ipsy videos I always list all the products and how much they were. So I will do the same with the Aspen Ovard box. Overall I'm really happy with pretty much everything I got. I was pretty disappointed with the shirt. I love the style of the shirt and the fonts, but I'm kind of upset that they cut the tag off so I can't see the size and it is clearly not a small. That was pretty disappointing, especially since I had to put my size into a little questionnaire when you sign up. I really like these. The candle's great, the eyeshadow, Benefit Roller Lash, all that stuff is awesome. I'm a little eh about the invisible heels. I just don't really see myself using them that much, but I will give them a try. 
The recipe is really cute. Love all of the beauty products. So yeah, this is everything put back in the box. Obviously not really neat. So the shirt, like this is quite a big box and it's full. So I'm really pleased with the amount of products we got. I'm happy with almost everything I received. I think everyone received the same products. It's not like Ipsy where people uh, get different items. So yeah, that's what I got in the first Aspen Ovard VIA box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like me to do another one when the next box comes out, please let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!